there are a range of options open to an individual to address needs that have been identified during an assessment process. Job shadowing is particularly useful for work experience when you are trying to decide what career path to follow. It involves accompanying someone throughout their working day and observing what they are doing at all times. This provides useful insight into the stress and strains of the job and how the person doing it copes with their workload and any interruptions. There is time the person who is being shadowed can give written commentary on what is happening. Sometimes though this is not practical, especially if other people such as a customer or supplier during some delicate negotiation could overhear what is being said. If this is the case, a debriefing session can be used afterwards to explain what was going on. Some learning comes from talking with colleagues and watching them at work. This can happen during team meetings or while attending events outside the organisation such as conferences. Most industries hold annual events in which people in the same trade or profession gather at some central venue. These events provide an important opportunity to catch up on the latest developments, to share expertise and to find out what the competitors are doing. If your job requires knowledge and skills that you don't really have, you may be asked to attend a formal course. This course may be delivered within your organisation, internal training, or you may be sent off-site for external training. The training may lead for qualifications for which you have to pass an examination. Examinations such as those taken by bankers and those in insurance are set to establish a standard of knowledge and performance expected of those within the industry. Within the IT industry, Microsoft offers a number of certifications that can confirm your understanding of one or more of their products. Holding such a certificate can prove your level of expertise.